two, one. Okay. So this is a little weird, this one. So you're going to gonna get used to this pretty quick, but you got to follow me here, okay? So everybody put their following motions into play. Okay. So a pendulum swings through a certain number of cycles in a given time. Owen made a pendulum that swings 12 times every 15 seconds. We're going to construct the table showing the number of cycles through which a pendulum swings. Um, include data for up to one minute. Use the last row C cycles and write an expression so we can find out what that would be. All right, so we have swings seconds. Okay. So we know that the first time it swings, it's 12 swings, 15 seconds. And we know we got to go up to a minute. So for every 12 swings, 15 seconds. So 24 swings, 30 seconds. We got 12 more. So we got 36, 45 seconds, 48, 60 seconds. And that's what they want us to go up to. But Notice how they want the last one to be C. Well, we got to figure out per one, okay? Right now, that's 12 swings, okay? And so we have to find out what one is, okay? So if we can find out what one is, then we can figure out Owen and his pendulum team set their pendulum in motion and counted 16 cycles. What is the elapsed time? Well, 16 falls between here. And if we can find out how much each one is, then we can find out the 16, okay? So um, we're going to use a thing called a proportion. Okay, so our original proportion is 12 swings every 15 seconds, and that's going to equal whatever we need it to equal. And we need to find out what one swing is. So 12 is the swings, this is the seconds, one swing, we're missing this amount of seconds okay so we're going to do cross multiplication you guys called it band-aids butterflies flower whatever we go 12 times x equals 15 times 1 put those together for 12x equals 15 and then we have to divide by the number touching the letter because that's how we end every proportion so we have x equals this so we can reduce this as a fraction or we can make it into a decimal it doesn't really matter because this is what's going to prove for our one swing okay so one swing is going to be whatever we get here so if we can divide by three we will get five fourths so for every one swing it's five fourths of a second which is one 0.25 if we want to get into the decimal. So for every one swing, it takes one and a quarter seconds, which makes sense because of that. So the C, in order for this to happen, would be 5 fourths C. So we can just call it 5 fourths C or 1.25 C. So for every one of those, it takes this. So it says, we want to find out 16. So we can just put in 16 here. So we have C equals 1.25 times 16 of them. So this times 16. And when we do that in your in on your paper, uh, when we take one and a quarter and we times it by 16, we'll get what was the elapsed time? 20 seconds okay um so that's pretty much how we can work that and we can look at it as um c equals whoops i don't want to put a c here my bad i want to put a little s 1.25 um amounts of time so that's why we have it in that um we can make up another equation and we could put um, the seconds um, 
multiplied by the cycles of the given will equal what we want if we want to go farther into it. But I think this should make sense.